this. Yes. If anyone can lift my spirits in time for the Shire Moot, it's you, my dear. Come inside and rest your bumbling bones, love. Be well, Eivor, and thank you. Keep watch over that one. Men have come for him more than once. My blade will keep him safe. I don't doubt it. I cannot let this abomination live.
Eivor, welcome to my estate, old friend. Thane Elfgard. It's an impressive amount of land you oversee. Quite right. I often get lost swimming to my island in this flowing sea of wheat. You said you had something to show me when we last spoke. What did you mean? Yes, I did. Observe. This fine specimen belonged to our beloved elderman, Hunbeort, before his untimely passing. He left it here when we last hunted together. I now wish you to have it. It's a beautiful weapon, finely crafted. Thank you. I thought you might like it. Now, now, take it and come hither. I have a rousing hunt planned for the two of us. Leave aside talk of politics and shire moats. Let us enjoy the fruits of my land together. We're hunting or fruit picking? Both, if you like. Whatever you fancy. I'm generous with the yields of my estate, as you will see. To be plain, Eivor, a great bear has been badgering my estate for weeks. I must do away with it, if only to prevent a future tragedy. You brought me here to hunt a bear? Yes, and I'm so pleased you agreed to come. Better than most that I have what it takes to leave this shire. Though its line of kings is all but ended. The people of this land still teems with life, with promise. But today, the Shire languishes. It needs the guidance of new blood. Like me. I'm sorry? I'm the definition of new blood. It may be I should put my name in for Elderman. <laughs> ah, there it is, that dark sense of humor. Blunt as a hammer, eh? Like the one carried by your, uh, uh, your thunder god. Uh, uh, I don't recall the name. Go on. What I mean to say is, I enjoy the company of your people. Or people like you. What little I've seen of them. And I don't care what stuffy fools like Herefriv and Hunwald say. You Danes are damned decent people. Not dense at all. Kind of you to notice. I remember when the Danes first arrived. Not long ago. The locals were terrified. Are we hunting, Alfgar? Or is it your hope that I'll braid your hair? Hunting, definitely! The bear's lair should be nearby. Ah! My old friend Grimm! How wonderful to see you here. What a pleasant surprise. What surprise? I came as you requested. Ah, uh, yes. And how is Grimsby? How are all the other Danes? I can't speak for all Danes, but I am well, and itching for a hunt, as you made plain in your message this morning. Yes, that's right, very good. Uh, speaking of Danes, I'd like to introduce you to Eivor. Uh, perhaps you know each other, as one Dane to another. It is good to meet you, Grim. Hey, Eivor. Did he lure you here as well with the promise of a hunt? He... Yes, hunting a bear! That's the point of all this. We're hunting, I promise. There's a cave just up the hill there. Seems a likely place for a lair. If the beast is as large as Elfgar claims, it'll take all three of us to bring it down. I'm game. Let's get a new fur cloak, shall we? There's all manner of beasts in this forest. If we don't find the bear, we'll find something worth our supper. I have a divine rule over the land on my estate. God shall provide. Have no worry.
this is the threshold of the beast's home. There's no doubting that. That's not a bear. Wolves. <laughs> A twig! Soon to be a sea of fire. Eivor! You're skilled enough and I can't tell you how to handle this. Yo, please! My God, help me with this! I'm in this fight with you! A clutch of puny Mercians don't frighten me! Russian dogs! Men who would see you burn or dead. Let's get these fires out. Agreed. What a mess. A sea of ashes. I thank you, Eivor, for doing what you could. You're a man of many riches, Alfgar. You can rebuild. To be sure. But I do not look forward to the toilet. returned the Shire mode will start soon I should return to Lincoln to see that it goes well
Archer, is everything ready? The Shiremoot will soon begin. Will you join us, Eivor? We'd be comforted by your presence. Yes, I'm curious to see this Shiremoot for myself. I'll follow. When will the boat begin, Abbas? Twelve able lords of Lincolnshire have already cast their stones. But they have reached a tie. Four votes for each man. It now falls to you to break this impasse. Me? By whose order? You have earned the trust of our three candidates, it seems. Even our bishop has found a certain fondness for your hardy spirit. It's an important vote for your people. How would you counsel my vote? I value competent and righteous leadership, not foolish friends in high seats. Anyone but Hunwald, you mean? I love Hunwald, as I love my own kin. But I would not put a stone in his care without fearing for the safety of both. I pray that God guides your vote today, and not the devil, as I fear. How are you, Lord? Have I heard aright that you have come to break us from our deadlock? I have, Lord. Have you any advice before I vote? Lord Hundbeor was a bold and honest man, if somewhat reckless. I see the same qualities in his son. Therefore, Hunwald is my man. King Cheowulf's attendant, aren't you? Aye. The king sends his love and support. Whatever happens here today shall have his full blessing. He is learning fast. Good man. Good evening, Alfgard. Eivor, I hope it's not untoward of me to solicit your support, but I do need it. The vote is closer than a cat's whisker. It's a difficult choice, Alfgard. Know that I won't make it lightly. Good, good. But let me say, unreservedly, that I am the man who will lead Lincolnshire into progress and victory. I don't doubt your convictions, Lord. A vote for Hunwald will return the house of the ferocious swan to its former glory. Bishop, Eivor, I must thank you for your fearless participation in our moot. I'm surprised to hear you vouch for me, Bishop. I surprised myself, to be honest. But I felt it would be a good test of God's faith in my judgment. Under my guidance, this Shire is crawling back from a decade of lawlessness. God knows the love that lives in my heart for the people of Lincolnshire. I pray now that he guides your hand accordingly. Quite a gambit, Bishop. Mad enough to work, it may be. Well then, I thank you for what it's worth. God go with you. Grim, good to see you again. A hearty hello, Drenger. Seems Britain is getting quite used to the idea of Danes stalking her shores. Where do you fall in this contest, Grim? Elfgard is a friend of yours, is he not? He is. And a good man as well. But I cast my stone for the bishop. The bishop? That's an odd strategy. These Christians are easy to nudge about. So desperate they are to avoid a good fight, they'll agree to most anything a Dane says. How fair you, Lord. My prayers are fervent and my will is strong, Eivor. If I am Elderman, I will bring joy to this Shire. There's more to good leadership than merrymaking. You must be strong and stern and willing to take risks. Of course, of course. Strength and wisdom and fortitude and all that. I shall rise above the peat moss of mediocrity. Have no fear. That's good to hear. Three men, three possible futures. Which of these sad puppets will dance best when you call upon them? It's not for myself I must cast this stone, but for my clan. Who will serve us best in a time of true need? 
You can never be certain where you stand in another's heart. Choose only for yourself. All three have strengths and weaknesses. The bishop can be stuffy and wallows in Christian piety. But he is wisest of the three, and has already proven himself. Humboldt is not the most cunning or clever, but he has heart and spirit. Both go a long way in times of need. Though tinged with arrogance, Elfgar is competent and wealthy. He'd be a good elderman, but a faithful ally? The bishop... Herabred it will be. He knows what it means to lead, and he'll carry on with no trouble. Our Lord God, through his infinite grace and mystery, has spoken, and he has spoken with a ringing voice. The Bishop Herathrith shall be Lincolnshire's elderman. Thank you, one and all. God's blessing go with you. Psalm 78, 72. David shepherded his flock by the integrity of his heart and guided them by the skill of his hands. So I shall lead with heart and hand as one. God bless you all. Go easy on the mead, Lord. It's a long ride to Grimsby. I'm only sniffing it. I seem to have lost my thirst. This city, with these people, is not where you belong, Humboldt. You're a Dane at heart. Go to Swanborough and live well. Yes, that's true. Thank you, Eivor. We'll speak again soon. I have an alliance to secure. Eivor, you have gifted me a great honor. One I hope I can repay. One you must repay, as our tradition demands. Name your need. I want your holy word that Lincolnshire will be a friend to the Raven Clan through the thickest and darkest of troubles. Yes, of course. Have no doubt we are friends, you and I, from this moment forward. Only call, and I shall come. Thank you, Bishop. Take care of your sheep. And share that one from time to time, for his own good. Abbas. I applaud your judgment, and thank the Lord he saw fit to clear the clouds of doubt from your mind. You could just give me the credit for how I cast my vote. I didn't see your guard pick up a voting stone. But he has not cured you of your heathenism, I see. These things are sent to try us, I suppose.
that be all? Yes. So long. Only because you all have such good taste. Now, this this one begins long. Ah, hey, my boy. Good to see. Lincolnshire is with us. ...under a new leader called Herevrith, a bishop. Let us hope he keeps his flock in line and ready for the coming fights. I want to see the Alliance map. Tell me about Jorvik. Hytham says there are three more targets there. If that is true, you are in luck. Our old friends Jor and Ljuvina have made their homes in Jorvik. Both had status and influence in Norway, so they may have valuable insights into the city's politics. That would make my work easier. What say you then? I will go now. Do you know where I might find Hjor and Lufina? When entering a new city, it is best to ask around the ports. The people there know more than the average peasant. Cast about this land, my friend. Baker is done, Tavin. And our feasting table will be warmer for it. Eivor, that is... kind of you. I hope one day I can repay you. You are among friends here. There's no need. No need, but a desire. An earnest one. I remember the good things people do for me. To warm my heart in times when... when kindnesses are few and far between. There was one more thing, though, if you had a moment. A grain merchant has set up down river. I want to bring a half dozen bags home, but I would need an extra pair of hands. I cannot help now. Maybe later. No, Russ. Just let me know. It's a delight to see you. Hello there, A4.
need your eyes, my friend. No sunlight reaches where you are going. May you bathe in serpent skins. Your name, Frown Horde. Quick the dead, whatever it may be, is stained forever. My name is Horsa. I left silver in the mouth of my home. Please say that it is spent well and frivolously. Oh. 